All right, welcome to Transforming Lives Continually, TLC. In studio today, Ms. Sean Devines Daniel and Ms. Ria George. We spoke with them in previous programs and we dealt with similar topics. And today's topic is going to be what are the challenges that wives experience in their relationships. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. So, we spoke about some of the challenges we experience as women or as mothers, really. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about now how, what are the challenges we all experience as women, generally as women, um, in relationships, in marriages. Who wants to go first? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to go first. Um, I think for me, it's, it's balancing children, you, you know, your relationship with your children, the time and your relationship spent, you know, your time spent with your husband, your time managing your business. That is a, a major thing for me. You know, that is an issue. So I always have to be on the ball, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That in itself could be very tiring. Right. And, and this really is big, um, reflective of what other women experience. Yes, yeah. But how do you give us an average day of a woman so, for, so that we can have a clear idea of how this challenge is? Well, for me, um, I, I don't even want to say I'm a stay-at-home mom because stay-at-home, I, I do so many different things. But for me, in the morning, I get up, get the children together. That in itself is an issue because the older they get, it seems, however, you are still saying, look at the time, check the time. So all that energy, getting them together and the little ones, it seems that's the time when you're busy. If you have to go out of the house during the day, that's it. No, I have a time to show some myself or I'll call my hair for myself. But you have everything mapped out. So you know they're out by 7.30. Mm -hmm. Because now we see we having traffic. So daddy will drop them. I am telling you when they leave, I have to take half an hour mm -hmm. to get it together because I'm exhausted. I, I'm sure other women feel that way. I am tired. So you still have to think now about if you're at home, getting the meals together, getting the house together, and doing all those things you have to do, and still find time for yourself mm -hmm. and for your husband. Then by the time you turn around, if you're at home, it's three o'clock and I'm, I know my sisters would agree with me. They say, oh my God, it's quarter to three. Mm -hmm. What did I do for me today? Right. You know? So quarter to three, kids are home, homework. That's the end of the day. That's the end of the day. And then you have to find that time to be all pretty and romantic and nice for the husband. Not that I'm complaining, right. but he needs his time too. <laughs> so, when a woman, and that is a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the, a woman who is at home, eh? Right. Mm -hmm. And when a woman is in, on the job, she also has a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. But she still fits it in. So, if you, and you change a woman who also works shift. Yes. She still fits it in. Mm -hmm. And you put it to a woman who work, work long hours and have longer traffic, she still fits it in. So whichever situation, some of the other women seem to find a way to fit it in. We if have it's to. In, if it's we important, mm -hmm. I would say whether you're career minded or you're a domestic engineer, because I heard Sean say she's a stay at home. She doesn't want to say she's a stay at home mom, but there's a new term. Be because I'm not term. really. No. I mean, you know, I'm there, but still I'm not there. So right. I, you know. But so you they say you know, the term that they, you they now refer to you as a domestic engineer. Okay. All right. So whether you're washing, cooking, cleaning, island starching, domestic engineer. Mm -hmm. That's the new term. All but right. That we don't ever get paid for. <laughs> you know. Um, money. <laughs> well, that's I right. said money. Yes. We don't get. Okay. No. No. We get we it all. We have to start billing. Is there something that women could do to better manage their time so that they are not as stressed out? Yes, um, some women some women work better when they when they schedule stuff, and some people say, but you know, it should it takes the spontaneity out of the, the the marriage, and it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, what happens within the hour that is scheduled or the two hours that is scheduled for it? Mm -hmm. That's where you can throw in your add your creativity, add your, your whatever else to it. Mm -hmm. But for some people, they they may need to to, to plan it. Um, to ensure that it happens on a regular basis. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. And then you have the moments when it's spontaneous. What are we talking about here? 
scheduling time and we configuring your time to fit into your busy schedule. Well, you know, he said scheduling time and sex was just the first and foremost thing in my mind. Clearly, right. <laughs> Okay. Is it? <laughs> that so really that came out. That's what I asked. When, that's what I asked when I said, "What are you talking about, really?" Uh, you know. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, I was talking about scheduling time. So you were talking about scheduling sex. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. All right. Because there's really, nothing wrong with that, is there? There's absolutely nothing wrong. We're talking about scheduling time, work, washing, cleaning, spending time with the children, sex. Yeah, I think, you, as we said, um, I think on the last program, that time, you have to really have that timeline. Mm -hmm. You need to say, at 12 o'clock, I'm doing this. But somehow, I, I don't like the idea of scheduling sex. I don't like that. That's mm -hmm. just, just me. Mm -hmm. I think that takes the... Tuesday, 7 o'clock. No. No, mm -hmm. I schedule the time to cook, schedule the time to bake, schedule and then you the time know that, to clean. You know that when the work is finished, uh, like on a Saturday, a lot of women complain that they're overwhelmed. Yeah? That the Saturday chores, the weekend chores, are overwhelming. Mm -hmm. When they get up at at seven o'clock, and some of them say they try to sleep a little bit because they're tired during the week, so they get up at seven or eight o'clock. And they've got the washing, the cooking. Some husbands do not like shop bread, so they've got the baking and all of these things to do. And before they know it, it is 6 o'clock in the afternoon. They've not rested for the day. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of things to be done. And I tell them, I, I told a couple ladies quite recently, I said, when I, I schedule on a Saturday, 12 o'clock is my cutoff or 1 o'clock is my cutoff and what is not done on that day it's trust me done. will not be done on that day yeah. there's always sunday you spend you get up you, you come home from church you spend some time you relax and then you go again you may want to fold the clothes you sit and you relax and you do that but everything does not have to be done at in that one, time in one, one day. day so yeah. you and, have a cut off that point speaks powerfully that there is always something to be done mm -hmm. always so and always. that is what stresses us out yeah yes. the household is never every time finished. we finish we say i have this to be done and so on you will you need to dip or set a timeline and say yes. listen by 12 o'clock i'm finished mm -hmm. and so whatever it is that i have finished with at that point leave for the next day and yes. i still believe to to help a woman to help the wives you have children there are chores that your children can do. Your spouse could also help out, you know, help you to do whatever. Are women that good delegators of responsibility? No. No, we're not. We no, get too not emotionally caught up in Janet is too small. She, but she can do something because she make big mess. Or she would make a big mess. Or I don't like the way that they they're do doing it. it. Yes. That's not how I would do it. Right. One woman said, um, you know, he's willing, my husband said, but I tell, I told her already, I will take the clothes and hang it out. She said, yeah, but when he take the clothes and he hangs it out, everything is just topsy turvy. So I asked the question, I said, whether the jersey is hung by the shoulders or hung by the waist, mm. will it dry? Yes. I, I met a woman who said she has to hang them according to their length. So it looks at a uniform thing. Doesn't so, matter to me how it's hung, as long yes, as it's hung and it's dry. Some it's like dry. That. So sometimes we're not managing it anymore. No. Mm -hmm. And we're not delegating the responsibility yeah. to the children so that the children could now go. Well, in fact, what we do, we have women who are burning themselves out in the home while the children are still sleeping and watching television. Exactly. And they have lost the opportunity of mm -hmm. learning how to contribute how to, to be As that is it, we are supposed to be teaching our children That's right. how to manage these things because they're going to leave home. You know, we want they going to university. Some may get married very early. Mm -hmm. Who are going to teach them? We are the ones who have to teach our children how to boys and girls. And girls. Yes. And boys even and the husbands, girls. even the husbands who are at home. And I agree, a man's home is his castle. And there should be time during the day for you all to relax together, for him to have his time to, to do what with his gadgets and you do what with your, your nails or whatever. You need to have that time. Um, but there are a lot of women who focus so much on getting it done right or getting it done their way, their way yeah. that the time that is sp that they spend on ensuring that it's done right their way it's extra time because he has downtime he's not doing anything and i often tell him i said the, the faster we finish here mm -hmm. <laughs> the more fun we have <laughs> exactly. there exactly. And so if we can pull together yeah, and, do and it. you you may not be good at the cooking i may be better at it mm -hmm. so i'll cook you wash mm -hmm. and while you're washing i'm cooking that's getting done um before 12 o'clock we're through so we have an extra hour to play yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um but he's wanting to do so much yourself 
Exactly. You see? Exactly. Because you, you feel you've got to do it for the family. Because you, you, you signed up for this thing and you want to really execute it with the best that you can. So you find that you're washing the way, you're doing all, all of this, um, and you miss out on the opportunity yeah. to be able to now step back and monitor, evaluate, mm -hmm. and, uh, and train. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, you really are a tired shell yes. yep. coming into to, to your husband. And when you're tired, it will reflect on how you deal with your family, mm -hmm. That's right. how you deal with your children. What I did though, because your children getting smarter, they're smart. See, mommy, I didn't know I had to clean the bathroom. I, so I made a, a schedule. Rasta. Yeah. Yeah. A roster, I have it on the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So Saturday at X time, you're supposed to be doing this. It needs to get done. You have to do it. That's yeah. your chore. So I could do whatever else I want. Sometimes I will do what I have to do on a Saturday if I have the time on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, or start on a Thursday. Yeah, however, you know, the things we fuss about, our husbands and children are particularly care. You know? no. I think we do it for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We fuss about, oh, you just clean Friday. You don't have little kids in the house, but you still want to clean Saturday. No, you are the ones that fussing about it, you know, not the children and definitely not the husband. So, you know, so you're tired. So the advice that we could give women is to try one, scheduling your life, and two, leave off the things that you can't do. Um, do the things that you can. Exactly, yes, and yes. delegate. Delegate. You know how much time some women spend just choosing you know, out the clothes to wear for that day. They too much. Bitch. They have too much clothes. Ridiculous. One hand they have too them, much. Hand puts it back they have too because much Because they clothes. wore this on the same day last week and That's they don't want anybody to feel that this mm -hmm. is their Wednesday best. <laughs> 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 they have too much clothes. I spoke to this woman and she was saying, oh, I don't have time to do my nails. No little children. As a matter of fact, no children at home. This woman and her husband. She said, I don't have time to do my nails. I don't have time to do my hair. I don't have time. So no. what do you do on a Saturday? Because she'll work Monday to Friday. Or oh, I clean the house, and this is a massive yeah. house. I clean the house, I do this, I do that. But on the contrary, husband looking fine. Can I, can I just say something here, John? And I make no apologies for this, absolutely none. If I'm not in a position to do it, I get help. Mm -hmm. I get help. I get. I have a girlfriend who willingly does it for me, and I pay her. I have no. I make no apologies. Mm -hmm. And this is for the the, the, the the woman out there. Whether you're at your your domestic engineer or you are career minded, mm -hmm. um, you do not have the time, and you want the time for yourself. Every two weeks, if you can afford it, pay somebody to do it for yes, you. If Even if it's it, yeah. once a month, pay mm -hmm. somebody to do it for you. If you can't do it, mm -mm, don't stress. Yeah. yeah. And but then back to the purpose, 31 women, she yes. manages your mate. Exactly. Get the help that you need to be right. able mm -hmm. to get these things done. Because Nobody you need to but take you know, care of our, yourself. Our society, eh? growing up, and probably in, yeah, in our era, um, the older folks made us feel really badly if we couldn't, if you got married and you had to pay somebody to do something to like this. If or you had to, to pay somebody to iron. Or you, you, yeah. you had to go and buy bread. But what happened to your wife, Michael? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. If it's you in the bakery, what? Crazy. At 7 o'clock in the morning, why your wife not making a bake or making a bread? But times, times have changed. Times have changed. Yes. And you want to be able to enjoy the time with your family, yes. enjoy the time with your spouse, enjoy your alone time, mm -hmm. and you cannot do everything. Yeah. All at once. And, and the same time, don't give them by food or every day. Oh, no, 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 no. We even thinking, talking about the health aspect of it too. Mm. You need time for yourself. You need time to take care of your health. Another thing, women are not doing no physical exercise. They're not exercising. Do you so, know how many calories you burn just by having sex? I know, real. It's a lot of physical. A activity. lot of physical, but we need more it than that. All the muscles in the body. And then all again, the if you have physical activity, the sex will be better. And I'm not gonna debate this. <laughs> but that's a fact. Yes, that's it is. Right. I agree. Yes. You're, you're in a better. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, and the older we get as women, you and know, the with sex all of the better the sex becomes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The um, she made me forget what I was going to say. So, to you. <laughs> so if, if, if therefore we, we should advise a woman how to be able to better improve her life as a wife, what are we said that, that one is the scheduling of the time, 
He said, too, it is delegation of responsibilities. What else are we saying that we could advise wives to be able to do? We are, you, I think it was off here, you mentioned 100% for the children, you want to give 100% to the husband, 100% to yourself. Um, how do you just, how do you divide all of that 100% hmm. or multiply it? I don't know which is the one now. How could you get 100% out of all of that? I think the hundred percent, the hundred percent cannot come every day. It has to come at the end of the week. It has right. to be hundred percent a week, right. really and truly. To, to be able to to give, you can't give all of you every day to everything. So you've the, got the to be able. Have, really have a time that they set aside for themselves an appointment with themselves. I do. I do. I, I do. do, but the thing is, the average woman does not, and it is because of how we were, how we were cultured, how we were socialized. Our parents before us, our grandparents before them, they they just did it all, and when they were when they were through, they were through. Mm -hmm. um, times have changed. I grew up in a family where both parents worked, and we grew up with a babysitter, mm -hmm. all right, um, on afternoons and during the holidays. And when I became a parent. I had I had support, and I make no apologies for f finding a babysitter or, or or you know get, having putting things in place to have that time for me. Yes. Right. I was telling somebody recently, you know, at least once a year. The first time I heard my girlfriend talk about um, going on vacation with her, um, with her girlfriends, and not her husband and her children. I. I I reprimanded her yes. forcefully and I said that's crazy that's that's not nice and you know we mm -hmm. had it out and she said Ria I don't care what you think yeah. and I lived to see the day just two years later where I relished the idea of going on vacation for my all by myself and that was just for, for one that and that was for me yeah. that was that was not because it was my birthday or because it was an anniversary or a special occasion I just got one week off to sleep until nine o'clock in the morning yes. and have breakfast when I was hungry you have to and cater to other mm -hmm. people and so on. No. Is that a necessity? It yes. is. It's it is. It's it's a mental something. And a emotional. Mental, it does something for you mentally and emotionally. Yeah. The physical, not so much, but what it does for you when, when you when you can have that time to stop and think. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you're going so much mm -hmm. that you don't even have time to stop and think. If you were asked um, you know, some women, you're going so much, you, you ask, what did you wear to work yesterday? And that remember. happens to me. That's what I know. Really need to stop. What did you wear to work yesterday? Mm -hmm. yeah. I sit, and I mean, I have so many reminders around. I just have to pull a tape to see. Yeah. But I sit and I am blown. I cannot remember. Yes. And it's good, you know, going on vacation is fine. But if you can't afford that, you really take what I call a mental health day. Mm -hmm. You know, but I used to call your girlfriend. Let's go to the mall. Let's go see a movie. Let's go to the beach. Might not even yes. be it, but just to hang out. It know? might be a good thing. Every I mean, week, this day or this evening, yeah. this afternoon, let's is yours. Is yours. Yeah, I take Saturday. Saturday is uh, my day. But then when well uh, okay because you claim to be a sea of home so you're gonna put <laughs> You say I claim domestic engineer. Domestic engineer. In my wife's case, Friday she doesn't go into the kitchen at all. Mm -hmm. She's coming down. So sometimes you know when the children say um, anything to eat, she says remember it's Friday. Mm -hmm. I see? like it. So mm -hmm. Friday we know everything shut down. So the children, myself, we have to fend for ourselves. Exactly, and nothing is wrong with that because sometimes as women we feel so guilty. Yes, you know. But I, it's I good for you. It's good for you. You need to wrap your brain up. <laughs> well, I do. And Saturday is my day. Yeah. But thank God I have a sweet husband. I cook soup every yeah. Saturday. So well, you see, you're very, very good. good. Yes, you know, but delicious. But for the woman out there who doesn't have it, um, and there's a pressure on them as well to cook a certain type of meal on, on a, a certain Saturday day. Or you yeah, know that Saturday, Saturday is soup yeah, and Sunday. Saturday. They must have the pie, the ham, jam, the lamb, and some. And if you say today Sunday, here's what the folks. No, we, we come out of that Sunday thing. Exactly. You have, exactly. but there are a lot of people who are still stuck in the tradition of having it. You know Sunday food. food. When you when you yeah. when you go to work on a Monday with leftovers, mm. hey, hey, you cook big yesterday. Yes, yes. yes. No, some yeah. some Sundays you. Take the pressure off and say. Take somebody's soup from Saturday and you use that yep. Sunday. Cook a, make an, make an extra to, part. You have to change your life to suit you now. You can't take what your mommy mm -hmm. did or what granny did and bring it into your marriage. What is working for you? Yeah. That is how you have to, to look at that. But and most importantly, if you're taking that time off, 
trust me, husband will be happy, children will be mm. happy, the neighbor dog will be happy. Happy wife, happy life. Happy, you no, know? your children are fairly good, and so is we. What mm -hmm. about those who have young children? Can they really get a break? Well, okay, thinking about me when I had my children and they were young, I had the support of my husband. I must say that. Taking a break, as uh, how I would do it now, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember seasons. We yeah. have seasons in our lives. So a woman that has uh, children two and five and seven, you may not be able to do the things that Ria and I would do. Mm -hmm. What I am doing now, I couldn't do it then. Mm -hmm. I had to step back mm -hmm. and know that that was my season mm -hmm. I was in. Right. Embrace it, mm -hmm. love it, enjoy it. I still found time, however, to do something at that time. It was art. So when the kids are at school or whatever, we do something still for myself. I, I think the structure of the family before allowed us to be able to take our children by the grandparents or take the children by the hand. If you that have that, I, if family, we have yeah. a, that, that is why we need to have a close-knit family, mm -hmm. but a family also that we could trust. Yeah. Because we have a number of children it's being used, interfered yeah. with. Mm -hmm. So parents, there are a number of parents don't trust their children in mm -hmm. anybody's company. Yeah. I had my parents and I had my in-laws, wonderful set of in-laws, and they would take the children. That's when the, the first two were a lot younger. Um, but what I also find works is that what you can, because I have friends with children of, of very similar ages to mine. I've got, I've got 15, 13, and then 7. So sometimes what we do is we drop off 15 and 13 at the at teenagers, one location, one, one location, because right. there are more teenagers there. That's right. And then my other girlfriend has right. 9 and 8 mm -hmm. and 4. So you don't have the influence of teenage discussion with your 7 year Right. So, and then sometimes right. they all go to one location. Okay. but. That way, it's it's a lot less pressure on you because the little one always complains. Oh, the bigger ones are always talking, and they have no time for me. Right. So, but that now she has playmates, she has mm -hmm. her pairs, the others have pairs. I think that that's a wonderful initiative. Mm -hmm. But it, um, in another scenario, like you don't have that extended family. What do you do? What do you do? I didn't have that. You know, for me, my husband and I, we found that time. What I did, I made my porch mm -hmm. an oasis. Yes, Deliberately, she did. I mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Because I knew we didn't have the time. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's even talk about finances. Sometimes you don't have the finances to go out to dinner and mm -hmm. to do whatever. So as a woman, you have to think. You have to be creative. So I made my, my porch and we says a lot of plants, mm -hmm. very romantic, because you know I love the romance, right? <laughs> very romantic. So when the children are doing their own thing, even when they were small, mm -hmm. or even as they're older now, we have that space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your little wine, the little use time. What you have. Use what yes. you have. And to be right. going into hotels and yeah. all that. Yeah, because it frustrates but, but you. It that frustrates doesn't take away from the hotel experience. It doesn't. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't. And even for the, because Sean, you mentioned earlier. Um, if you can't go on vacation, and it doesn't have to be on vacation, it can be right here Out in Tobago. Yes. It can be a room in somebody else's house. Somebody may have a dog somewhere you know and you have getting to out of yes, your environment just get out of yeah. your norm mm -hmm. pack up a cooler cook something drive to the country that's yes. it get away yes. from your yes. norm even if it's an yes. overnight get out of your norm mm -hmm. and sometimes breaking the cycle of your norm okay six o'clock you're up seven o'clock you leave the house da -da -da. just break it for a minute mm -hmm. and then you go again do we have the support from our husbands generally in society that would say, listen, we're going on a picnic today. You and I, or we and the family, going on a picnic today to just break up. For some of us, it needs to be planned. I, my life is, is of such where I have to plan it. I have to say, hey, today is Wednesday. Saturday, we have a nothing day. We've had nothing days in my family already. Mm -hmm. Where Thursday, you start the washing. Friday, you finish up Friday night. Mm -hmm. And you're going late Friday, late, late Friday night because you know on Saturday, it's a nothing day. Mm -hmm. What are we having? Whatever you want to eat. What are we having for lunch? Whatever you yeah. want to eat. I call it doing nothing sensible. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Right, but I have, a, I have a husband who says, yes, let's do that. Let's drop everything. Let's do this. Yes. But it has to be planned. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, the average man will say, yeah, you crazy what we have. 
but yeah. it's something it's a, it, it is a really it really is a new way of thinking, thinking yes and it has to, i think it's something that needs to come on stream because we're living in shorter days mm -hmm. or days are shorter mm -hmm. or nights are shorter the days are just shorter yeah. and we still have a lot to do but at the same time with all that we have to do we're not enjoying life we're not enjoying our children and when they're young the and we're not enjoying the marriage yes. we work for more money and yet we Less. do not have a greater standard of living yeah. Yeah. we have a number of people separated where it is said that the number one cause for separation now is people taking each other for granted yeah. going apart and it's easy that's easy it's to it's very easy because you can get so consumed i have this friend she has a beautiful home and she said to me i i don't enjoy my home because it's filled with all these beautiful things but either she's never there or the husband is never there with her to enjoy the no. space i mean re girl to hotel that's style that's and that's, that's sad yes. you know that is so sad when you walk into the space you could feel that void mm. all the beautiful things but um. there's no life yeah. mm. there's no life so so they end up with a house a, a house but not a, but home. Not a home yes you Two know and that is things. a sad thing so you can live in a box and where there's life and and, and that love and people really checking for each other, then you're good to go. Well, we got the wrap up signal. So, final, final words. A woman, <laughs> what, let me just, and, and Sean can close off. Women need to stop and enjoy what they have. Before you know it, your children are going to be grown, mm -hmm. you're going to be 40 years older. And you're gonna stop and think, what ha what do I have to show for it? Yeah. Stop and enjoy your life, your marriage, your family. Yeah. Put it on paper if you need to. Yes, I, I really add to what Ria is saying. Stop and smell the roses. Remember where you at now is just for a season. Mm -hmm. So don't try to live another sister's life and put your husband under pressure. Where you at now is for a season. Times will change and you will have more time to do whatever, but. Take time out for yourself. If it's just to watch TLC. There you go. Right? <laughs> and let me encourage you men to therefore be supportive of their wives as they try to take some time off for themselves. Do we have a role that we could now pitch in to be able to help them around the home and to be able to give them that time that they could be free away from the children, etc. This is Transforming Lives Continually. I'm Michael Stewart with Sean Devines Daniel and we are George. And um, we invite you to call us at 635-1801. We do private counseling and we are also prepared to come and discuss with your group. And the email address is michaelatstuarttlc at gmail.com. So until the next time, remember now, you will never get rid of the old life you have until you accept a new one. Thank you.